Am I the asshole? For saying that I will support my son's children but not his widow? My son divorced his wife of 10 years to get together with their nanny. I told him that he was making a mistake but that he was an adult and could make his own decisions. He became a shitty father to his children. I wish I could say differently but there it is. I did the best I could to ensure that my grandchildren knew they were loved and part of a family. My ex-daughter-in-law also remained. We had known her for 14 years and she was always kind and friendly with us. We used the money we were going to leave to our son and set up educational funds and a trust fund for his children he was neglecting. My son had two children with his new wife. She always held it against us that we told him that she was a mistake. We didn't get to see them very much. She didn't want them around his older children. She didn't want to be around his first wife. It never ended. My son passed away last year. He left her a life insurance policy and a lot of debt. She was a stay-at-home mom and her only job previously was being a nanny. And I'm not sure she would get a good reference from her previous employer. She used the life insurance to pay off all of their debts including the mortgage on their home. But now she has started to run through the savings she had. She came over, with the kids, to see if we would give her money from our son's inheritance. We told her that it was spoken for. We said that we could help her out with stuff for the kids but that she would need to get a job to support her family. She said we were family so I said that she had basically ignored and sidelined us for years. We are only family now that she needs us. I said that we would take care of our grandchildren but she needed to work. Afterwards I was discussing it with my spouse and they feel I was harsh. That she just lost her husband. I said that she just lost her meal ticket. I'm not sure she would get a good reference from her previous employer. LOL. What's interesting to me is that she, the send wife, was the original kid's nanny, and then distanced herself and her kids from those kids. Sort of a double betrayal for the older kids. First their family was blown up, their father abandoned them, and their nanny, the other person besides their parents who was supposed to care for them, caused it and alienated them too. What a horrible woman. As was the father. You are not the asshole. She needs to get a job. Not the asshole. Your son passed away last year, meaning his wife has had 10 months to find a job. You offered to help with the kids' expenses as long as she got a job. That's completely reasonable. Not the asshole. Stand strong she only came crawling back to you because she doesn't want to work and be a real adult. She used her temporary upper hand to ghost you and now has the audacity to call you family? Absolutely not. If she actually cared about her kids she would get a job. She just wants to be a leech and take advantage of you. Not the asshole. She didn't want to know you, or have a relationship with you when your son was alive. I know it must be hard dealing with the loss, but it is not your job to provide for her, especially now that she only wants to know you because she wants money. As you said you will support the grandchildren and have done with the trust funds, but you are under no obligation to provide for her, as you said she does need to get a job or a source of income to support herself. Not the asshole. She had a house mortgage free. No debt. I presume she's young. She can work like all the other parents in the world. Were you to support her till she dies? I did she think she would never have to work? What you said was dead on. She needs a job. Period. Not the asshole buying things the children need directly is one thing you owe the home wrecker nothing. Had she made an attempt to be in your life or had the kids in it, but she did not. She paid her debts and mortgage her meal ticket is gone. If in the US, the kids get benefits as would she from social security as a death beneficiary. You are worth more than to be someone's bank. I'm sorry for your loss. Not the asshole. I agree she lost her meal ticket and now wants to replace that ticket with you. You were honest and straightforward. She needs to get a job or steal another husband to support her. Not the asshole. While the children have done nothing wrong, and shouldn't have to suffer, she brought this on herself. 
she goes for the easy money, and hopefully will continue to be disappointed. She is probably already looking for her next meal ticket. Not the asshole. And you were 100 correct when you said she lost her meal ticket. Not the asshole. She didn't want a relationship with you until she wanted a relationship with your money. You aren't wrong, she needs to get a job to support herself and her children. It's great that you want to help with the kids, but they aren't your responsibility and neither is she. Not the asshole. This was a very reasonable response to her request that you bankroll her living expenses. She is an able-bodied adult, she can get a job. Also. I'm not sure she would get a good reference from her previous employer. Is the most amazing burn I think I have seen on this subreddit. Understated, yet devastating. You are my kind of people. Not the asshole you weren't harsh at all, what you said is reality. It's kind of you to be willing to help your grandchildren, after she cut you off. You already supported two older grandchildren, after she got involved. She's a gold digger and she's not entitled to anything. It's time she faces the consequences of her actions and face the reality. Not the asshole. If she didn't want to know you when her husband was alive, then she doesn't get to know you now that her husband is dead. Not the asshole. It was ridiculous for her to even ask. Sorry for your loss. Not the asshole. If your son was still alive, she wouldn't be asking for help. She's not even extending an olive branch, she's legitimately just asking for your cash, not for your involvement in the lives of your grandkids. Not the asshole. She can sell the house and get an apartment. She has options. She is an adult and it's her responsibility to take care of her and her children. Not the asshole you don't owe her anything, do what you can for the kids. Not the asshole. It's kind of you to offer help with the children, but it's not your responsibility to subsidize her. Not the asshole. She can get a job like everyone else. Or she can do what she's good at and fuck someone else's husband until he ends up having to support her. Not the asshole. I'm not sure she would get a good reference from her previous employer. I would think not. Not the asshole. She used the life insurance to pay off debt and the mortgage. That leaves her in a lot better place than a lot of single moms, not having to worry about a mortgage or rent. Any job at all would help greatly towards groceries, utilities, and things the kids might need. If she is in that rough of shape financially, maybe selling and downsizing homes is another option. I don't think she is enough for asking for help, but she can at least do what she can to help herself, too. Not the asshole. She will need to get a job. Not the asshole. The audacity of her to even ask. Not the asshole. The sad death of your son aside, I'm sure many people would love to be in her position of being debt-free with a house paid off. She has nothing to complain about.